OK, so we've seen that we can run a website from GitHub by using a special directory where we attach github.io to our username. So here mine is uh, johntango.github.io and that means that if I appear in a browser, hit johntango.github.io, it'll serve up in this case, I've got a web page called index.html. So it'll serve up our uh, setup page. So that's great. But what if we want a real website here? So let's, for this exercise, that's what we're going to do. We're going to develop a real website here and have it point to this. So I suggest there's lots of uh, websites out there that sell names and Namecheap is one of them. So if we go to Namecheap, we can search for names. So I might search for MIT course 1125. They'll suggest various domain names. And this one is 1.125 club and it's 99 cents a year. So we can buy these quite cheaply. So choose your website name and buy one of these. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to basically go to our websites. So let's uh, let me sign in. I've got a few domains here that I'm playing with and what you need to do now is you basically need to set up what these point to. So let me show you the example here. In my domain list I've got blockchain1.io for example, and if I go to manage, then I can choose one of those domains, so blockchain1.io, and I need to go to advanced DNS, so click on that. And then what I need to do is to tell it what machines I want as my DNS servers. And I need to point this domain name to the servers that GitHub runs, and they happen to be these here. So you add a new record, and you need to add A records, and put in 185.199.109, 108, 109, uh, 110, all ending 153. Okay, and then finally, you need to put a C name record that points to your website. So here I'm pointing to one of my repos, github.io. So you need to point to whatever your username is, github.io in here. Uh, put www and you can set the TTL as well. So we've got that set up on the Namecheap servers. So they're the ones that are hosting now blockchain1.io. Okay, so now we've got this set up on the Namecheap site. We need to go back to GitHub. We need to set up a C name here. So we need to create a new file called C name. This needs to be all caps. And in that file, we need to put blockchain1.io. So what this will do is when DNS refers to the machines uh, that are serving up this site, johntango.github.io, it'll actually show the name blockchain.io. Okay, so we then save that file. Now in the settings for this site, we've got the repository name. If we scroll down, we can choose master branch and custom domain allows us to rename this. So we need to change this to blockchain1.io. And we'd like to keep this HTTPS enforced. And so we save that as well. And now we should be able to hit our site.